Well, Hemingway, he's a very sort of man's man. He, he writes a lot of sort of um, about bullfighting and he loved, he, loved, uh, he loved the fishing, he loved the big game fishing, he loved um, those sort of those sports. He's written a story which I think is a, um, a lot softer than the others, which is The Old Man in the Sea. It's a story about one man who um, hasn't caught a fish for 84 days, who goes out to uh, catch the fish of his life and, and then he doesn't complete it. He doesn't, he doesn't actually you know, find this fish. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't bring it home. There's a beautiful line in Hemingway in the in the story at the at the end, which is, you know, man can be destroyed but never defeated, and and, and that's that's a universal sort of you know feeling that, that that we, you know, we should be able to go out and achieve and and strive to achieve, and if we don't, we don't. But but to have that desire is so important. He lives as a fisherman, so his whole life is fishing. That's how he eats. That's how he survives. That's where he gets his. Self-respect is, is in a status from, if you like. It's his whole world. So his, his whole mission is to get out there and on one level prove himself as a man, on another level to, um, to eat, to survive. The way that it's written, I, I was completely um, absorbed by it and thought of the, the language that he used to describe the setting of the sea and the, the sort of um, the light on the sea or the animals in the sea is, is completely just exquisite, like really, really, sort of so many images pop into your head and I, I, I wanted to play with that, with the, with the piece of, the, of theatre. Cause you really have to work very hard to try and transport an audience to um, out into, you know, miles and miles from land. The sea has now got much more of a vocal role um, and a wonderfully um, complex relationship with the old man and a femme fatale, she's a sport little girl, she's you know a huge number of things so that's and that's quite fun playing with that and it's it's no longer just one man out at sea which is what it is in the book the whole sea and it is like a playground for her and she's got these toys and she's got these weapons like sharks that she can just summon up at, at, you know at a second and the thing about her relationship with the old man is that actually there's a genuine relationship that goes back to when he was a little boy and it's almost like he's been her favorite for years it's a kind of love story in a way, isn't it? It's, it's love of the sea, love of nature, love of his ex-wife, uh, love of the boy. His boat is small. And he has sailed it every day of his life. And it has had so many repairs that every single piece has been replaced. I, I worked very closely with Ross Lorraine, who was our musical director. Because it set out at sea, I, I didn't want to flood the stage because it's, you know, well, firstly, no one would let me. <laughs> but secondly, I think it's, it's, uh, it's so much more exciting to try and transport people just using sound. <laughs> 